Hi, Ed Diaz here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to record multiple tracks of audio from the Roland Phantom into Logic Pro X. All right, let's get started. So in a previous video, we showed you where to find the drivers that you're going to need and how to install them inside your computer system. So if you've done everything correctly, then this should be a breeze. So let's begin by opening up Logic Pro X. I have Logic Pro X uh, opened up on my system. And then if you take a look, you're going to see the Phantom as an available input and output device. Now, if you're, if you're not seeing that, let's go ahead and take a look at the Phantom first off. I'm going to press the menu button inside my Phantom. I'm going to go to system and then I am going to make sure on the USB driver it is set for vendor. So if I press enter I have two options available. I have generic MIDI uh, which is, that's just going to do MIDI or I have vendor which is going to allow me to record MIDI and audio. So let's go ahead and press OK. And now another setting you might want to take a look at is if we go down further we're going to go down to USB. And it's going to be right here. It's going to say USB audio mix parallel. So if I press enter, it might be set to mix default in your Phantom. So what mix means, mix is typically inputs one and two going into the computer. And that's going to capture the entire mix of your Phantom to those particular inputs. Which is good sometimes if you're just trying to just run everything down into a stereo mix. That's fine. But more than likely, you're trying to capture all the individual zones of your Phantom, of the 16 zones. So I want to make sure I am set to parallel. So that's once that's set, just press OK. And all we have to do is press right on the Phantom, and that sets a system right. So all of those changes will be remembered. Uh, so when you power off your Phantom, they'll come right back up. All right, let's go ahead and exit. Now, if we did everything correctly, we are good to go. So let's go ahead and choose the Phantom as our input and our output device. And now I have another option I can do. Am I recording the software instrument, external MIDI, audio, guitar, bass, or drummer? So for this example, we're recording audio. So let's go ahead and record audio. And if we take a look inside the Phantom, check this out, audio input. All of this is from the Phantom. So you can see we can go ahead and record individual inputs. And these are actually parts of the scene right here. And each of the zones within the Phantom scenes, each zone is stereo. So we have one through eight and then nine through 16 on the top. So we're gonna, for our example, we're gonna go ahead and record, uh, start at one and two, we're gonna go ascending, and then we're gonna go ahead and put 16 tracks. Now watch this, this is, I love this part. We can go ahead and press create. And now we have all 16 tracks of the Phantom ready to record. And so if we go ahead and create something in our sequencer or we want to capture a performance of us playing using one of the scenes of the Phantom, we can do that. Uh, let's go ahead and pick a song inside the Phantom. I'll use this demo song right here. And now let's take a look at our USB audio settings right here on the top of the screen. Now if we press and hold shift and we hit red, this sets the gain, the output level of the Phantom going into USB. So for example, if I have it all the way down and I press play on the Phantom, watch what happens on the screen. Logic isn't captured anything. Now let's do it again, but this time I'm going to slowly turn up my USB audio output level. So let's do it again. I'll press play and slowly bring up this fader. So as you can see, as I brought up this fader, I could go ahead and adjust how much gain is going into the computer. So this is a common mistake that will happen if we have this all the way down and we're not getting any signal to the computer. This is probably why. All right, let's go ahead and I think we're set to record. I'm going to press record inside Logic and just press play on my sequencer. And let's capture all of this audio simultaneously. So I think we are ready in Logic and I'll press record and play. Here we go.
Okay, I just pressed stop on the Phantom. Now we'll press stop in Logic. And now you can see very easily that we captured all of these audio tracks pretty, pretty fast, pretty easily. Let's go ahead and solo some of these and let's hear what we got. So before we do that, I want to show you another setting in the Phantom. So remember this same USB audio fader. So the red means it's going out. Okay. If we hold shift and hit the hit it again, it's going to turn green. So that's what's coming from the outside in. So this is going to adjust how our audio input level. All right. So I'm going to turn this all the way down and I'll unsolo this. Okay, great. And let's back this up and I'm going to slowly bring up the volume uh, of logic into my phantom so I can monitor and li listen back. Here we go. I'm not hearing anything and we'll slowly bring up the fader. There we go. Bring it up to a comfortable level. There we go. So those are two settings you have to make sure you are on. Okay, so go ahead and make sure that you have it green from coming from the outside in. And then also shift, hit that button again. And this is going from the inside out outside into your doll okay so those are good to know right there that's a common mistake and, and uh, it's just something good and that'll that'll save you a lot of headache so now let's go ahead and do a quick review of those tracks and see what we got i'm going to solo track one and remember this is zone one and two here we go very cool very cool and let's go ahead and do another one right here let's check this one so solo and let's press play. Very nice, capturing from digital to digital. So that one is the one, two, three, four. So that will be one, two, three, four, that zone right there. That's cool. And if we take a look, it is actually zone seven and eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That's that one. Let's take a look at one more. Let's see if we can find the drums. Everybody always loves drums. And I'm thinking it's probably this one, Audio 10. Uh, typically drums is put, uh, historically drums is put in a uh, zone 10. It's just an old MIDI thing. Uh, you can put drums wherever you want. So let's go ahead and select that one, solo that, and let's see what we have. That's right. There's the drums right there. Let's hear what number nine is. See if it's something that complements it. Very quick, very easy. So as you can see, that was pretty fast and pretty easy to just to capture audio directly from the Phantom. Let's do it again, but this time I'm going to go ahead and do a live performance. What if we wanted to go ahead and grab something live? I just wanted to just play a scene. So let's do it again. Let's do a new, just so you can do this with me. Let's close this one and let's not save it. And once again, there's logic. We're still gonna use the Phantom as the input and the output device. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this time, I'm, I'm just gonna choose a random scene in a second. We're just gonna have some fun with this. And I'm gonna say audio, but maybe uh, my scene only has eight, four. I'll just, I'm just gonna grab and say do eight. All right, there we go. Now let's go ahead and choose a scene inside the Phantom. Uh, let's grab this something air. Have some interesting stuff going on. My levels look pretty good uh, going from the Phantom inside Logic. I'm just going to leave them there and let's go ahead and record. Just record uh, the audio. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's press record inside uh, Logic and let's just begin to play. let it fade out for a second capture all that audio here we go and I think we got it now let's go ahead and press stop all right great let's back it up and let's see what we got remember if we wanted to again we can adjust uh, the, the audio coming back into the Phantom from logic right here it's green so it's coming from the outside in uh, let's just back it up and see what we got 
great. There's all of it. Now let's go ahead and solo the individual. On this particular scene, it looks like it's using a one, two, three, five, six, seven. So it didn't use four. It didn't use eight. Uh, probably what I would do, I would probably at some point go in here and say, well, there's nothing on this guy. I probably go ahead and delete it. And there's nothing on this guy, so I'd probably delete it. But the great thing is, is we had the ability to capture it if it was there. And we just went ahead and chose uh, eight audio. So let's go ahead and hear what we do have. I can see some stuff right here. Let's solo and see what we have. So this is zone two inside that particular scene. Let's go ahead and back up again. Let's hear what zone five captured. Nice arpeggio. Since it's audio, if we wanted to bring it up higher in the mix, we could totally do that. Uh, let's check out this one. This one looks kind of meaty. It's probably some kind of bass-oriented sound. Let's see what it is. Oh, it's a big, a nice synth. Oops. And let's go ahead and check out this one right there. Oh, let me unsolo this one. So a nice little ethereal kind of sound right there uh, sounds pretty cool let's mix it with this guy totally different let's turn on this one but I'm gonna bring him down let's bring this guy back so as you can see super easy to capture uh, a full sequence that you cr uh, create inside the Phantom or if you just want to capture uh, some more live play using audio very easy to do all right, so I think this is a good spot. Go ahead and practice this at the house. Remember, it was very easy to do. We can go ahead and just do a new session inside Logic, and we just use the Phantom as the input and the output device, and then we just choose. And once we're in there, we can go ahead and choose. Oh, don't say it. We can go ahead and choose audio, and then remember, you're dealing with audio all the 32 inputs of the phantom which are 16 stereo really so all 16 zones uh that make up a scene and all you would need to do once again is just select the number of tracks very easy and just hit 16. if you wanted to maybe not just throw them all in there you could go to the individual ones and you can adjust your inputs here if you wanted to but uh this way it seems to be the easiest for me so as you can see adding audio from the roland phantom into logic is very easy. Give this a try and I hope it helps you out. You guys take care and we'll talk to you later.